Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I have a review on the new CoverGirl Outlast State Luminous. I found mine at the Ruxell drugstores here in Canada. I haven't seen it anywhere else yet. It was $16.99. It was very pricey there, but I don't recommend buying any makeup there anyways because of the price. I, um, I would wait till it gets to Walmart. You could probably pick it up for under $12. But I was really excited when I seen this. I love the matte version, the Outlast State Matte. But when I see the Luminous one, I got really excited because I don't always want to wear a matte foundation. Sometimes I do want that Luminous look to my skin. So I'm really excited to give you guys my review on this. I did pick mine up in the shade 855. This does come in seven different shades, which is not a big range. The matte version has a bigger selection, so I'm assuming that they will come out with more colors. You might have to buy two to mix them to get your perfect match but it's not gonna cater to all skin tones. I'm just on the CoverGirl website. I just wanna read a little bit about this foundation. This is a oil-free, non-greasy formula. It gives your skin a natural luminosity that lasts all day. Perfect for achieving radiant skin, this all-day foundation hydrates skin while providing flawless coverage. And on the website, it actually says that it's $11.30 and the prices may vary. It also came with a new primer. I did pass on the primer just because I love the primers that I'm using right now and you guys will see in the demo which primers I am using. But I don't see myself purchasing that one anyways because it just doesn't cater to my skin. And if you are new to my channel, I do have combination to oily skin. So sometimes foundations that have that say luminous or have like a glow to it do not work for me. But um, I'll just explain to you guys a little bit later on this foundation and how it works for me. So let's just jump right into the demo. Okay, so here's the packaging. It's the exact same packaging as the matte version, except it's got a red lid instead of a blue. And it does come with a pump, which is really nice. I really do appreciate when drugstore products come with a pump. So I've tried this foundation two different ways. I've used my buffing brush by Real Techniques and I've also used the Beauty Blender. I actually like using both of them, but um, today I'm just gonna use my Beauty Blender. I do find that this does kind of accentuate my pores a little bit with the brush. So I feel like this just kind of smooth, smooth things out a little bit better. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Beauty Blender, but I still do like the coverage that I get from the buffing brush. So because I have oily skin, I do want to use a primer that is gonna keep me matte. This line did come with a primer, but I did not purchase it. It looked like it was like a creamy, a creamy texture to it. I don't think it was a silicone base, so um, I think it's supposed to just keep your skin very moisturized. So I kind of passed on that primer, and I have a lot of primers that I, I need to use up. So today I'm gonna use my Bobbi Brown Skin Smoothing Pore, Pore Perfector, sorry. I know I still sound really, really bad, but I feel really good. <laughs> okay, so this is, this is what I'm gonna use to prime my face. And this primer is excellent because it will keep me matte throughout the day, but it also fills in my pores really nicely, and it feels so good on the skin. I do suffer from larger pores, so I like to use this smoothing primer by Makeup Forever just to kind of help them a little bit more. The Bobbi, Bobbi Brown one does a pretty good job, but I just really like the way my skin looks with this primer, so it's going to concentrate that just in my T-zone. Like, it, even just with that one layer, I can just already tell my skin has even dealt with this primer, so it's excellent. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just take one pump on the back of my hand, and you can see that this foundation, it's not, it's not too runny, but it is running down a little bit. It is a little bit on the thicker side, and it feels almost kinda whippy, um, like a creamy, creamy texture. And I'm just going to put this all over my face. So this foundation, I would say it's about a medium coverage. And you can definitely build this foundation up. So you can see it definitely covered up my redness. It evened out my skin tone. I do have a few spots where it's peeking through but normally I have to go in with concealer for that. Can you guys hear my son in the background? <laughs> I do apologize. 
So I really like the way the Beauty Blender just blends out this foundation and this is a very easy foundation to blend out so it does work well even with the brush and the brush will give you a little bit more of the coverage but I don't know I I've been really into my beauty blender lately and I just really like the way it looks especially with like thicker foundations the beauty blender for me is the way to go so this is just one layer. I'm gonna go ahead and put just a little bit on my forehead. I don't like to put a lot on my forehead. Um, I don't know, I don't feel like I need a lot of coverage on around the forehead, so. And then I'm gonna go in with concealer anyways after that. Okay, so this is what it looks like with just one layer and it's definitely luminous, but I don't look greasy or like shiny. This is an oil-free and a non-greasy formula and I do have to agree with that. And yeah, this is basically what it looks like. This You can build this foundation up. I'm not going to build it up, but I am going to touch up some areas that I want to cover up a little bit more. So let's just go ahead and do that. So this is the coverage that I get with the Beauty Blender. It's a medium coverage. You can definitely build this up. It won't look cakey. It looks very fresh. It's a natural glow. You can already see that my skin looks luminous and basically, yeah, what it says is what's, what it's going to give you. This foundation just really, really surprises me and I will get more into that when I explain a little bit more about this foundation after this demo. But I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. So this is what it looks like with all my makeup on. I just wanted to do a close-up shot for you guys so you can see what it looks like. And I really like the finish. And you can see like the luminosity that it has. But I don't look shiny or greasy. So it's just a beautiful, beautiful finish. Okay, so that's how I apply my foundation. And I have a little quick story to tell you guys. Yesterday it was plus 27. And I forgot that my son had a picnic at his school and we were going to the water park. I wore this foundation. So it was a perfect day to even test it in the heat. And I was out there for two and a half hours. There was absolutely no wind. The sun was beaming. It was extremely hot. I came home and my makeup was still on. I did not look greasy. I did not look oily. Um, my blush was still on. I had no creasing. It didn't settle into my fine lines. I was truly, truly amazed on how this lasted on my skin. And I have combination to oily skin. So this foundation did work for me. Now, now not every foundation is going to work for everybody. I like the finish of this foundation. And if I do have problems with looking shiny, then I'll just blot in between. And that doesn't bother me. But for some people, it probably will. If you have extremely oily skin, then I would probably stay far away from this foundation or if you do want to give this foundation a try and you, ha and you have oily skin maybe use a mattifying primer that is going to help control your oil throughout the day and you might be okay with it but if you have extremely oily, oily skin then I would definitely stay away from this foundation so I really enjoy this foundation it's a definite hit for me I'm really happy that I gave it a shot and I will be using this especially when I'm going out and I just want my skin to look really radiant this is a perfect foundation for me and I know it's going to look good all day so very, very impressed cover girl. I really, really like it. Also, I wanted to mention this lipstick that I'm wearing because this is a new lipstick by cover girl and it's, this is their Outlast Hydration lipstick. Now, first of all, I don't care for the packaging because of the lid. Um, you can see that the the tube, it's, it's popping out a little bit so that when you put the lid back on, you can actually put some NYX and dents into that. So that is the only thing that I don't like. Um, this is a beautiful, beautiful shade. I got mine in the color 940, and this reminds me of Heroin by MAC. And actually, let me go grab Heroin so that we can actually compare together. Okay, I am back. So let's just swatch the CoverGirl one. Um, it has really great pigmentation. Um, for it being hydrating, it, fe it feels really good on the lips, but it does feel like it's going to last a really, really long time. And then let me just swatch Heroin here pretty close you guys um, I would say the heroin is just slightly deeper but they're very very close so I think if you're scared to try heroin by Mac I think you will really like the one by covergirl because it's to me it's a little bit more wearable so I really really like that so the formula is actually really nice and this does have like a 
I have a cold and I can't really smell it, but it does have like that candy smell to it, which I really, really like. And yeah, so I'm wearing it today. I'm not a big fan of like the app, like how it's shaped because it's a little bit hard to apply. And I have a really small upper lip, but I did use my MAC Heroin lip liner and it goes perfectly with this. So I wanted to mention that to you guys. Um, will I be trying out more? Maybe if I can get some on sale because I think it was a little bit pricey too. So, <clears throat> but I like it. I, I do like the formula. I wouldn't say it's like super hydrating, but it does feel really good on the lips. It doesn't feel drying at all. So another great product from CoverGirl. And that is everything, guys. That is my review on this foundation. Let me know in the comments down below if you tried this foundation and what you thought of it. I love to hear people's thoughts. So thank you guys so much for joining me today, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.